Hey, it's Ashley. Um, how's everybody doing? I haven't posted a video on my personal channel in a really long time. Um, I was waiting to see how the teammates audition would go. And so now I'm finally able to post a regular video and update about what's been going on. So, anyway, oh, thank you everybody for whoever voted for me for the teammates audition because I got the Saturday spot. Excitement, excitement. And so, yeah, thank you everyone who voted for that and I'm extremely excited to be a part of it now and I'm looking forward to many memories with them. So, uh, subscribe to their videos, the Teammates FTM channel, and my videos as well. Anyway, as a lot has gone on since I last posted. Um, just the past, like, couple weeks have been really intense. Uh, there was graduation for the high school, went really well. Um, officially a high school graduate, it's kind of one of those um, surreal moments because it's like, well, I'm done, I don't have anything to do this summer and it's time to grow up and be an adult. Adult, yes. Um, <laughs> and so, that's been going on. Although my summers are boring, I've been staying home. However, my family, um, we just got back from vacation, and it was early in the summer. We went on an Alaskan cruise. There will be pictures up. But ever since I was, like, mm, five, maybe, I've wanted to go to Alaska. I would, um, I would, like, constantly beg my dad to go to Alaska. And he was like, okay, well, when you graduate high school, we'll go to Alaska. It was either that or New Zealand. So I was really excited about that, and then this past year he's like, well, your mom wants to go somewhere else, and so she was like, yeah, we're going to go to like either Mammoth or maybe like Mexico or something. And so my sister and I were really bummed about that because we really wanted to go to Alaska. And then um, my mom goes to the travel agency to book our trip, and she comes home, and she's like, hey, guess what? We're going to Alaska. And it was like the best moment of our lives. Um, we were, so, my sister and I were so excited about that. And so we went and it was a cruise, a complete seven day cruise. We flew up to Seattle on the 4th of July. So we kind of missed celebrations with our family, but that's okay. And then from there we got on the ship in Seattle and we left for port to Alaska. And it was really amazing. Um, the first stop that we went to was a little city called Ketchikan. And Ketchikan is apparently Alaska's first ever city, like its first ever founded city. It's this little tiny town. And it has like the highest rainfall. It's like somewhat of like 18 feet of rain a year. It's ridiculous, but I love it so much. It was so cute there. And they have a huge totem pole area where they restore all the like native totem poles and put them up for everyone to view and they're just so beautiful and so that was our first stop um, our second stop was Juneau and that's the capital of Alaska we went by Sarah Palin's house um, <laughs> we went by their government building and we did two excursions there uh, our first excursion was to go gold mining because my sister's she loves gold mining for some reason, like the whole Yukon gold trail, finding gold, getting rich thing just fascinates her. So we did that, and then our second was um, my dad, sister, and I, we went whale watching, and we were expecting, you know, just to see a couple whales, like, maybe, like, coming up to breathe, like, um, or, like, fluking their tails or something like that, but what, what we got was a real special treat. Um, you may have to look it up because it's kind of hard to describe, but there's this thing that whales do. It's called bubble net feeding. Now, normally the humpback whales that are up there are solitary animals. They are never really around unless it's like a mother and her calf. But otherwise, they're pretty solitary. And this bubble net feeding is actually when a group of the whales get together 
and they do this thing to like get the fish they like blow bubbles at the fish and the fish kind of clump together and then as like one whole group the whales come up underneath and like just swallow all these fish and so they like just burst out of water out of the water these like seven whales the first time and it was right next to our boat and we were all just like sitting there and we were like like seriously that was everybody's faces just sitting there like in disbelief at what we just saw and the naturalist on the boat was like wow that's extremely rare and there were seven in that group and then in addition to that one time we saw it we saw it three more times like three more times that these whales were doing this feeding and the naturalist was just sitting there like because she's never seen anything like this before in her life and the first group of whales we saw had seven individuals in it and then the second group had 14 individuals in it so a total of 21 whales in like a half mile radius it was just ridiculous and it was amazing and they're extremely beautiful and from there from Juneau we went to Skagway a little tiny boring really boring town even though it's supposedly special and we took a train ride up the mountain that was really really boring I don't have anything else else to say about Skagway um, and from there our ship turned back around and we went we stopped in Victoria Canada it was really pretty it was kind of like one of those Thomas Kincaid paintings if you've ever seen those really 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 pretty and yeah and then we came back home yesterday flew into Los Angeles I already missed the weather um, I was really digging the whole 60 degree weather with jackets and all that stuff that was exciting and so yeah I'm back home now nothing else to do you'll be getting pictures I'm gonna be posting a slideshow and I don't know what else to say so I'm gonna cut it off here that was a little bit about graduation and my summer of doing nothing and growing up in Alaska so talk to you all later I'll probably be doing another post later on to talk about how life is going I guess so bye everyone and Thank you for voting for me.